To most of us, Christmas Island is a place where asylum seekers are held in a sprawling complex. But as Lee Steele discovered, the remote outpost four hours flying time from Perth is full of hidden surprises. I went out fishing one day and we're coming back in as the sun was going down and this island from out there looked so magnificent. I said, nah, I'll stay here. Breathtaking scenery and fascinating wildlife you won't find anywhere else in the world. It's the side of Christmas Island locals want us to see. Well, I just like wandering around the jungle and it's quite a dramatic uh, vista. You go up to um, one of the lookouts called um, Margaret Knoll and you look across the, the hills and the valleys and the sea and the great waves crashing against the cliffs. But the tourism industry here is fighting a losing battle. For many of us, this is what we know of Christmas Island, a spot where asylum seekers are housed, also the scene of a terrible accident. Oh. Visitor numbers have plummeted by 75% over two years, locals say due to the island's tarnished image. It is really frustrating because we know that if people came here, they would really see that there's a whole other different aspect to Christmas Island and it really is what Christmas Island's all about. Now we're going off to snorkel at the uh, little pier over there, which we believe is absolutely excellent. You having a good time here? Oh yes, yes, definitely. Just 500 holiday makers visit the island a year. Tourism operators say those numbers should be much higher. Right now we're in the middle of the Christmas Island National Park. It makes up 65% of the island and is home to 40 million red crabs. The island's real claim to fame is the spectacular migration of millions of these crabs from the forest to the coast to breed. It happens every November. Wildlife legend David Attenborough calls it one of his top 10 experiences. The real king of the island is the robber crab. The largest land crab on earth can live for up to 80 years. 1,500 asylum seekers call this island a temporary home, compared with 1,200 locals. I've been here for, what, 12 years? Came for a six-month contract. I've given up my mobile phone, I've given up my website, and it's completely blissful. A fascinating mix of Australians, Chinese and Malaysians make up the local population. <laughs> Committed and passionate islanders desperate to show us the real Christmas Island. It probably is, it's probably adding 10 years to my life. Do you think you'll ever leave? No, I'm too ingrained here. Lee Steele, Nine News.